Today could be one of the most dangerous days for wildfires so far this year. With Colorado's dry conditions and the high winds expected today, the risk for fire danger will be very high. Today on 9 News Mornings, we have team coverage to get you prepared. We're talking about everything from how firefighters are getting ready for today to what you can do to keep you and your family safe. And how exactly do wildfires spread from home to home? We have answers right now on 9 News Mornings. We have a busy day ahead of us and we're starting off with a live look at downtown Denver. Today is the 18th straight day of red flag warnings. Half the state is under a warning right now. Strong winds and extremely dry conditions mean a fire start. They likely will be the kind that grow fast and they're hard to stop. 26 counties in the state have fire restrictions in place right now. That's nearly half the state. If your county is on this map, you should not be smoking outside, doing any kind of open burning. We have all of the don'ts for your county up on our website at 9news.com. And we, of course, have lots of coverage over the next hour to prepare you for today's fire danger and, of course, keep your family safe. We do want to start with Keely Chalmers, who is in for Ed this morning to get a look at those conditions. Good morning, Keely. Hey, good morning. Certainly a calm, pleasant start to what will be, as you mentioned, a very busy day when it comes to the weather out there. Temperatures out there very mild. Mild right now we're in the low 50s. The winds are calm, but things will be changing. Those winds starting at about lunchtime will really ramp up. We're expecting wind gusts up to 75 miles per hour out across the eastern plains. 50 mile per hour wind gusts here in the metro area as a result. All this area you see there in pink from the front range foothills out to the east, north and south. We are under a red flag warning. That means extremely dangerous fire conditions, mostly sunny skies. It's going to be nice out there, but it is going to be warm. Temperatures getting up to about 85 for a high here in the metro area. That's about three degrees shy of a record. The record was 88 set back in 89. Mostly cloudy skies overnight, 42 your overnight low, but those winds are still going to be howling, gusting up to 55 miles per hour. The good news, folks, we are in store for a cool down with a decent chance for some moisture moving into the lower elevations tomorrow. But again, today, all eyes on that high fire danger. 85 degrees, that is high. All right, today, Governor Polis will join firefighters and state leaders to talk about what the state is doing to prepare and recover during wildfire season. Nine News reporter Jalisa Irizarry is live at the state capitol, or one of the news conferences will be this morning. Wildfire season is pretty much becoming a year round thing, Jalisa. Yeah, Corey and Governor Polis is meeting with state leaders here today to talk about that very issue. He wants to talk about response and recovery as well as the state's preparedness plan. And in Boulder on Wednesday, talks about preps were underway as well. With today's expected high winds and dry conditions, crews want to make sure people are ready. On days like today, Boulder Fire Rescue says they intentionally increase their staffing of firefighters. You may even see some patrolling neighborhoods. Boulder officials stress if you plan to be out and about today, make sure you have a plan to get away from a fire and make sure you aren't doing anything that could start one. We're living in a different time. Like we said, fire season is all year long, so people need to take that extra step and embrace that responsibility that we all have to help protect these shared public lands and our communities. Now, with all this wildfire risk, it's important to point out the anxiety it could bring to some communities. Boulder officials stress for everyone to take care of themselves as well as their loved ones. And of course, always be prepared. Natasha. Yeah, you got to be prepared. You got to have a plan, too. It's just um, how it is these days. Jalisa, thank you. We have updates on some other recent fires. Investigators in Boulder County say the Table Mountain fire that burned 52 acres on Wednesday started because of a drone crash. Three CU Boulder researchers were flying the drone as part of severe weather research. When the drone crashed, the battery caught fire. The researchers tried to put it out with a fire extinguisher, but the winds were too strong. Boulder County says the crash was an accident and no one will face charges. 
Firefighters in Monte Vista say a fire on Wednesday burned 15 buildings. Police say they don't think the fire was started intentionally, but they're still looking into it. And investigators say the NCAR fire in Boulder County last month was caused by a human, but they haven't found that person responsible. They're still asking anyone with information to come forward. The wildfires we've seen in Colorado are too big for one department to handle on its own. That's why departments have mutual aid agreements. Volunteer departments in Boulder County have started helping each other automatically on certain calls when we need the help they're all coming to help us too so it, it's kind of a, a hand washing thing is that we help you you help us and, and it all works out really well the automatic aid agreement with those departments in boulder county has been in place for about six months now it goes for emergencies like wildfires burning uh building fires major car crashes and events where a lot of people get hurt when a fire is coming, every second counts. Firefighters want you to have a plan in case you need to evacuate. Former 9 News reporter Brandon Riddiman has three things to keep in mind. A lot of people imagine that surviving a wildfire means running far, far away. Not always. Every wildland firefighter constantly looks for two things, and so can you. One is the escape route, usually a road out, but roads can and do get blocked. So firefighters also always look for their nearest safety zone, a big clearing with good distance from anything that'll burn. People have survived some of the deadliest mega fires by riding them out in big parking lots. A green sports field or golf course can work too. Fires can be life and death. Escape is a good plan A. Learn to look for safety zones, and you'll also have a good plan B. Great advice there. Now we're going to have more coverage to prepare you for today's fire danger throughout the morning. In the meantime, you can stay up to date on our 9 News app. It is free to download. For now, we want to head over to Erica and get a check of our traffic and our roadways. Good morning. Good morning. It is a pretty quiet start to your Friday morning drive so far, so we do like to at least start the day out that way. I-25 in Thornton Parkway is where we're looking at this hour. No issues on either side of the interstate and our map reflecting the same thing. Just a green map out here, meaning our interstate and side streets are running up to speed so far. Heading into Commerce City on westbound 76 is just a quick 11 minute drive time in from E470. No issues on either side of 270 this morning. Your commute between I-70 and I-25 six minutes under 10 right now on southbound 225 for your drive between I-70 and I-25. Erica, thank you. It is now do or die for the Nuggets. They have one more chance to stay in the NBA playoffs. Oh, man, they lost to the Warriors last night at Ball Arena. Jacob Toby has a recap. Now the Golden State Warriors on the road are going to get the W. For the third time this series, once again, in a pool party. It's a pool party. Warriors guard Jordan Poole sunk the Nuggets with a team high 27 points. What a play by Poole! Denver let a close one slip away after leading by two with under four minutes to play. Got a shot blocked. I couldn't be more proud of our group. I know that this sounds weird because it was a loss and there are no moral victories in the playoffs. I get that, but we gave ourselves a chance tonight. We didn't do that in Golden State. Now down three games to none, the MVP's message to his team is simple. I mean, it's not over. I mean, as long as we, are, we, are, we put the effort like we did today, we're going to be fine. It's a stat that's as daunting as ever. Teams that go down three games to none in a best of seven series are 0 and 143. But Michael Malone's not worried about the rest of this series. He's just worried about game four. We have a decision to make. Are we going to roll over or are we going to fight like hell and send this back to Golden State? That's my hope. Sunday afternoon? Yeah. All right. It's going to be skyrockets in flight, afternoon delight. <laughs> uh, knowing our group, we're, we're going to be here for the fight. I know I will be. Jacob Toby, 9 News.